Hi, my name is Malcolm and I'm a PSLE Science Specialist here at the Pig Lab. Welcome to another episode of PSLE Science Made Simple. In this video, I'll be going through a past year examination question on the topic of magnets. I've also prepared this question for you to download for free by clicking a link in the description box below. So let's get started. Question 7. Dane wanted to find out if the number of batteries in a closed circuit would affect the strength of electromagnets. He then made three electromagnets, A, B, and C, using different numbers of coils as shown below. Now, when he placed the electromagnets near a container of iron nails, they said that electromagnet C was able to attract eight iron nails. So in this question, they ask, which of the following options below show the most likely observation that Dane would have made for electromagnets A and B. Now, before we answer this question, let's recall, in order to create an electromagnet, we need to use electricity. And what is the source of electricity in this setup? It is going to be the batteries. So, let's take a look at electromagnet A and check, are there any batteries here? No, so we can write down there are actually no batteries. And since there are no batteries, can this setup produce electricity? No, which means would the nail in setup A be able to become an electromagnet? No, so we can write this down. It cannot become an electromagnet. And since it is not able to become an electromagnet, would it be able to attract any iron nails? No, so we can write that down. It cannot attract iron nails. So for electromagnet A, we know that it will attract zero iron nails in total. So looking at the options, which options can we cross out? We can cross out options 2 and 3, which means only 1 and 4 are possible. Now let's take a look at electromagnet B next. For electromagnet B, are there batteries present? Yes, how many batteries do we see? There are a total of 2 batteries which means we know that both B and C can become electromagnets. But are B and C exactly the same? No, what is the difference between B and C? First of all, we can see that there are more batteries. So let's write this down. We know that there are more batteries compared to C. And not only that, what other differences can we see? We can also see that there are actually more coils of wire around the nail. So we can write this down. There are more batteries and coils around the nail. And when we look at the number of batteries and the number of coils of wire around the nail, we know that these are factors that affect the strength of an electromagnet. So since we know that B has more batteries and more coils around the nail, would B become an electromagnet with a greater or weaker magnetic strength? We know that B would become an electromagnet with a greater magnetic strength than C. And since we know that electromagnet B has a greater magnetic strength than C, this means that B would it be able to attract more or less nails than C. We know that B can attract more nails than C. So let's write this down. It would attract more nails than C. And remember earlier, how many nails did electromagnet C attract? Electromagnet C attracted eight iron nails. So for B, we know it will attract more than eight in total. So let's write this down. So looking at options one and four, can you tell me which option shows that electromagnet B attracted more than 8 iron nails? It must have been option 4. Therefore, the only possible answer is going to be option 4. Thank you for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you found this video useful, do give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to check out more videos by us, do click on the links on the right hand side. Last but not least, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more interesting videos. Thank you and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!